Hi, Nancy Burr Priest here. Um, just letting you know, this is my website, which is my online store. Starting April 9th, there is a big sale. It's um, Stampin' Up! Last Chance products, so get them before they're gone. My Facebook business page, and of course, my YouTube channel. I'm very close to a 1,000. So keep watching, keep sharing, keep liking, and uh, I hope that we'll see. I'll let you know when I get there. Now, I wanted to share with you, this is, I, this is technique has been around for a long time. I recently saw it, um, a friend of mine sent it to me from Sharon Armstrong. So, it's called the bubble technique. And it, you can see I'm making a big mess, but it's a lot of fun. So, let me show with, um, show you the finished card. I'm using, um, some of our fluid 100 watercolor paper. And I have, I on this one I left it plain, but on this one I'm going to emboss the, I guess I think the emboss will give a little bit more to this, um, which is four by five and a quarter. This is five and an eighth, nope, make that, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Um, I just did a little one inch sun. This is retiring, which is our sailboat builder. And this is our sweetly scripted, um, which I love this stamp set. So let me share with you how I made this fun card. So I'm going to start with a piece. And let me make sure before three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'll tell you why this is great. Because this is five by seven. So you can get two out of each one of these long pieces, which is great. So I'm starting with that. Um, I've got two made already and I'll make the third with you. This is using Azure Afternoon. This is using Night of Navy. I kind of wanted like a nautical look. This one I'm gonna make, it has some water in it. And I'm gonna put, I'm just any kind of dish soap. I just happen to have what I'm using at home. About that much. So not a ton. Um, this is just a ramekin. Nothing exciting. Now this one I decided I wanted to use more Coastal Cabana. So um, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's a lighter color, so I put more drops of it in there. I'm going to take the straw and just mix it up. And then this is the fun part, so I'll move this over and I will clean up my area after. I'm just going to blow bubbles. Don't inhale it because it's re-inkers and soap and water. Yucky. So. You want it to kind of go over, over the top so that you can put your paper down. Now, that one is not very bright at all. So I may need to put more um, re-inker in a minute, but let me try it again. Mix it a little bit more. This is just, I'm going to do this at a technique class. We are all going to be blowing bubbles and having lots of fun. Um, so you can see it's starting to come out now. You might need to do, I'm going to put a few more re-inkers in. I'm going to say 25 on this one. One, two, three, four, five. She did say if it's a lighter color, put some more in there. All right, let me try one more time. And then we'll do some other colors and keep going back and forth. Is this the goofiest thing you ever saw? We did this years ago. And you know, everything that's old is new again. Oh, now we're starting to get some color. Yep, I needed about 25. Um, all right, now I'm going to do this one. Oh, my hair is not getting in there. We'll see. You really do want it to go over so that you can get it on your paper. That one might need a little more. Okay. 
it's just a fun, it's a fun technique, adds a fun background. You can see I'm starting to get some really fun colors. This one is Nine of Navy. So this might give us a little darker, mix it up again. You ever seen the goofiest thing? What are you doing, blowing bubbles? I could sing the song for you, but I won't. I'll save you that. Um, so now I'm really enjoying how it's starting to look. Can you see it? It's really starting to have some color to it. Get a little more dark in there. And move that back. Get a little bit more of the Coastal Cabana. Remember, don't inhale it. <laughs> Yuck. Um, just make sure and try to get the edges if you can. Oh, that's got some neat. Can you see it? That's got some neat look to it. So you can do it as long as you want to. If you come to my class, you can just blow bubbles for half an hour if you want. Although some other people will want to try the technique, so you might get in trouble if you did that. But um, I tried it on regular paper, um, just our basic white, but what I found was the basic white really, um, you, you know, you'd have to use... Um, something to dry it and you'd have to let it this one is pretty good i would set it aside for a few minutes but what do you think i think that's a really nice technique so i'm moving these goofy bubbles to the back okay see if i can get as much of the mess out of the way put that up there oh, i better get a paper towel just to make sure now I'm setting that aside for a moment to dry and I'm going to take the card base and this is one of the um, basic 3D embossing. I like this one. It's just an interesting look. So I thought that would give it a little bit of interest in the back. Now as I first make cards, I try them out and then I usually go, oh gosh, I should have done that a little different. And then I I change it up. I gotta really move these so I'm not off camera here. Um, so I'm gonna put this right on. This is a four by five and a quarter Coastal Cabana. Just to give a little interest. This will go on next. Yeah, I like that better, don't you? I think that just adds to it. All right, now, I'm going to take this, I'm going to let this continue to sit for a minute. Take this little sun. I had the bright sun at first, and it just didn't look right. And so my husband's like, you know, I really think that you need to blow some bubbles on the little yellow sun. And who doesn't want to blow bubbles on the little, 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 little yellow sun? So I did. And it kind of makes it look like it's coming through the clouds. You can just wipe it off. I'll put a, I didn't try Coastal on it last time. And once again, keep going until you like it. Can see that? All right. Oh, that's nice. Looks like it has a little bit of interest to it. Now, that's just regular cardstock, so you have to be careful not to put a ton on there. Now, I pre-stamped Happy Birthday in red, and I did it on a piece of three-quarter by four and three-quarter, which will match this. Um, I used our Sailboat Builder Punch. I used this is um, Azure Afternoon. And this, the sails, are from some of our Regal's paper, which is going to be this. 
these designs are going to be retiring. So I thought that was a fun, you know, I like these summer colors. So I could let this sit a little bit longer, but I'm going to just jump the gun. I would use, make sure you can see it, I would use liquid glue because if not, it might come um, pop up a little bit. Moving that back. Oh, that, I like that. I like that with that background. I just think it adds to it. Then I'm going to take the back of that, put just a little bit. Just a little. Now, last time I had it, I'm going to put it up a little bit farther because I had it down too far and I didn't like it. Now, I didn't pop anything up last time. So, I don't know. Should I pop that up? May I pop up the happy birthday? And uh, see if we like that. I am going through dimensionals like, which is good because I got, you know, a couple of them that have like three in them. You need to get, get rid of those. All right. I'm going to pop up the happy birthday. Yeah, I did a better spacing this time. Sometimes, you know, as you're doing things, you're like, oh, well, I don't know. I'm going to just glue the sun down. I am not. And I could do either side. So this one's kind of blue. This one has some interest. So I'm actually going to put the glue on this side and have this. We're getting ready for our eclipse here in New York State. So that kind of has an interest to it with the sun there. Um, I always have to look, this goes here and that goes there. See if I can do it with getting it in the right spot. I just kind of lean it towards the ship. And you could do either side if you wanted the polka dots. Golly gee, you could do the polka dots. You could do anything you want. Um, isn't that a cute card with the bubble background, um, the retired, uh, boat builder punch, um, the, uh, 3D embossing folder, and it just is a fun, you could use it for a male card, you could use it for a child's card. It's just really multi-purpose. So I hope you give this technique a try and have a great day.